Yeah, alrighty, do a video on this real quick. I ain't got a lot of time for this. If you don't know how Pro Press works, you got a problem. Alright, so this is the jaw on this uh, Pro Press ish tool. You just pop open the jaw, uh, make sure your compressor, you know, because it's hydraulic, you just tighten that down. Um, and put it on there, like so. You can see the teeth. Uh, kind of go around there. Oh, you gotta open it up. Yep. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay. So there we go. So we got it. It's locked in there. Now on these 90 or these T's, you'll have difficulty getting it to get in between there. Um, depends on the angle of how you're, you know, installing it. Of course, you know on these pro presses, you have to have that in there. The fitting itself has to be in all the way. It's a good idea to always mark them. Um, and it's got the the jaws where the the fitting goes, so kind of idiot proof there. But yeah, some some angles are hard to get on. It's easier when it's freaking actually on the pipe. But so once you get it bit on, you kind of give it a couple pumps. You know it'll start to tighten up. Always want to make sure that you're in there all the way. You can see it's uh, it's seated on there. You can see how how big that hole is between here. <clears throat> so it gives you a little bit of room. You can see it anyways. So, so all I'll do is just tighten this up, and this just uh, make sure you're straight on the fitting, and you just start pumping it. Pump it like anything else. <clears throat> you watch the see the gap there the gap so like I said this is free handed I'm just pumping it out here for an example ah. let see you can see the teeth the actual teeth are together got a gap there but this is right here is where you want to see It'll, no uh, massive gap but once you get that pressed once you get it pressed you just release your valve and that lets the you know spring pull back up and that opens up all right here we go get it off and you got your copper bite i call them copper teeth so you can see the little tip there see how it's uh masked that copper pretty good but that's on there boys that's not coming off so once you get it on there it works pretty good. Said, uh, well, this is like maybe the fifteenth water heater I've installed. Of course, it's been a little bit, so that's probably about six months ago installed. But this is the main water heater for uh, the laundry room. All right, so, like I said, it's uh, it comes with the fittings, and that's the name of the company. You can, I got this off Amazon. Uh, I mean, there's different sizes you can buy. Come on, focus. But anyways, comes a nice little case. You know, you put your fittings in there, and the tool goes back in there to where it's supposed to be. Kind of hard to do this one hand. Uh, put the tool back in. Put the tool back in. Uh, I'm doing this off my cell phone. I'm not. Mr. Uh, camera. Well, anyways, that's a good trial. Like I said, when you're uh, when you're putting this like a, the T's only one I've had problem with. When you're putting this together on, like say for instance, the water heater where it's it's stationary, it's it's easier to work with. But the the machine has difficulty getting between here and here sometimes so you have to just kind of adjust your tool to work properly that should be about it guys so uh, hopefully that helps you out a little bit all right have a good day